Algebra 1, 10.9d, the factor theorem. For a polynomial containing a variable, any value of the variable that makes the value of the polynomial equal zero is called a root of the polynomial. We covered this in 6.8b. We're now in chapter 10, so there's going to be a link to that video if you're confused, and then you can watch it real quick, okay? So if a polynomial like ax squared plus bx plus c is divided by a binomial x minus d, we get a quotient q and a remainder r, then that polynomial is going to equal x minus d times q plus r. It's going to be the x minus d times the quotient plus the remainder, okay? Now stick with me because this is going to seem really confusing, but just bear with me. Now, when x has the value d, some value of some number, d, then x minus d multiplied by the quotient plus the remainder is going to equal that number d minus that number d multiplied by the quotient plus the remainder. This d minus d is going to be a 0, isn't it? So if we multiply 0 by the quotient, that's going to equal 0. And if we add the remainder, the only thing that's going to be left is the remainder, because this part equals 0, doesn't it? And it means when x has the value of d, some certain number, then the polynomial is going to equal the remainder. All right? So stick with me. When x has the value d, some value, some number, and the remainder is equal to 0, then the polynomial is going to equal 0. It means that d is the root of the polynomial. It made it equal 0. When x has the value d, some certain number, we'll call d, and the remainder is 0, then x minus that d divides our polynomial evenly. So that means, because it divided it evenly, that x minus d is a factor of that polynomial. This means that x minus d is a factor of a polynomial whenever that certain number d is a root, when it makes it equal 0 of the polynomial. This whole thing is known as the factor theorem, OK? And this is what it is like in equation form. That's the factor theorem, OK? So we can factor a polynomial and use the factors to find its roots. If we have a polynomial like x squared minus 9x plus 8, when we factor this, it factors out as x minus 8 times x minus 1. We know the roots are 8 and 1. See that? We factored it and found its roots. We can evaluate a polynomial for a given value of x to see if that given value is a root of the polynomial. And then we can use those roots to find the factors. So we're going to test to see if x can be equal to 7 halves, or to 5 halves, or to 3 halves for this polynomial, 4x squared minus 20x plus 21. And we're going to plug in these numbers for x. And then we're going to do it for the 7 halves. Then we're going to try it again for 5 halves. And then we're going to try it again for 3 halves to see if it makes it equal 0, so that they're roots, to see if they prove they're roots, OK? So let's do the 7 halves first into this polynomial. So by plugging 7 halves in, this is what we get. And we have to square this first, so we get 49 over 4, don't we? Then we get minus 20 times 7 halves plus 21. We've got to multiply this guy by the 4, right? And actually, we can cancel out. I did it the long way by doing 4 times 49, which is 196. But we can actually, if this is over a 1, we can say that this 4 cancels out that 4, and we end up with 49 over 1, which is 49, OK? So now we've got 49, which is 196 over 4 simplified. And we're going to take away 70, because 140 divided by 2 is 70, and we're going to add the 21. And seven, negative 70 plus a 21 is negative 49. 49 take away 49 is 0, so yeah, 7 halves would be a root for that polynomial, OK? So 7 halves did work, OK? Now let's try 5 halves. We plug 5 halves in to the polynomial, and we get 25 over 4. 
and we can cancel out again so this 25 over 4 times 4 would be 25 well or we could do it the old way and go 4 times 25 is 100 over 4 which simplifies to 25 100 over 2 is 50 so we have minus 50 plus 21 and 25 minus 50 plus 21 is like saying 25 minus 29 this equals 29 Negative 50 plus 21 is tw negative 29. And 25 minus a 29 is a negative 4. That's not a 0, so that's not a root. Okay? So that didn't work. So this is a no. Okay? Let's try 3 halves. So I'm going to plug 3 halves into this polynomial. That gives us 9 over 4. We have to do 4 times 9 over 4, which is 36 over 4. Or we could have canceled out these 4's and just made it a 9. Either way, 36 over 4 is a 9. And 20 times 3 is 60 over 2 for this one, which is 30. So we have a minus 30 plus the 21. So now we have 9 minus 30 plus 21. Well, negative 30 plus 21 is negative 9. So we have 9 minus 9. That's a 0. So 3 halves is a root. So this did work, OK? So 7 halves and 3 halves did turn out to be roots of this polynomial because it made it equal 0. So our factors are x minus 7 halves times x minus 3 halves. Isn't that cool how we did that? Because these made the equation equal 0, we knew it was a factor. Pretty neat. I bet you could do this. This is the factor theorem. So remember, if the given value of x makes the polynomial equal 0, it's the root of the polynomial. Our next video, 10.10, .10, we're going to talk about how to simplify complex rational expressions. Complex rational expressions are like having a fraction in a fraction. If you want to have a link to any of the previous videos that we covered, or my algebra word problem playlist, all those links are going to be in here, including the root of the polynomial video 6.8 that we covered a while back, okay? You can just click on them and watch them real quick, all right? Okay, that's the factor theorem. Let's talk about simplifying complex rational expressions next. Bye.